Sister Wives' latest update, Cody, Robin, and Christine face awkward confrontations post-divorce. A preview reveals tense moments at a family event, where Christine avoids pleasantries, signaling strained ties. Meanwhile, Cody and Robin struggle in their relationship, with financial woes adding to their challenges. Fans weigh in on the chaos. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives Preview, Cody, Robin and Christine's Awkward Meeting With Sister Wives Season 19 only a few days away, TLC releases teasers to help whet fans' appetite. During a new Sister Wives Preview Cody, Robin, and Christine Brown have an awkward run-in. The clip shows how they choose to proceed with each other after their divorce. Sister Wives Sticky Situations Undeniably, the tensions are heating up this season with three of the sister wives heading in new directions. Since Mary, Janelle, and Christine couldn't see a future with Cody and Robin Brown, they chose to leave the plural marriage. Small actions over time finally built up and they decided it was no longer their calling to stay in the spiritual union. However, even with the split occurring, there are times when they will have to be together. In the newest preview, fans get a glimpse of one awkward interaction between Cody, Robin, and Christine Brown. Preview, Cody, Robin and Christine's Awkward Meeting On Reddit, someone posted a new preview for the upcoming season of Sister Wives. Likewise, on another thread, a user says, Sister Wives, Christine has awkward run-in with Cody and Robin, exclusive. Within the clip, fans get to see Christine Brown Woolley talking about seeing Cody and Robin Brown at a party for one of the kids. Since they are forever tied as parents, there will be plenty of occasions for them to be together. In a confessional, Christine says, Yes, I noticed that Cody and Robin were at one table and I was at another. Admittedly, she states, I'm not going to necessarily say hi. The scene continues to show how the parents coexist in the same room but are struggling to figure out how to act around each other. Christine continues by acting out a conversation, how's it going? How is everything? But she knows it wouldn't be how she truly feels, that would be disingenuous. And that would mean I was going to be friends. After that, she makes it clear she doesn't intend to foster a friendship. Continuing, and friendly, and I'm not. I'm not going to be friendly. Sister Wives stars Cody and Robin Brown are struggling. Furthermore, Cody Brown reflects on the situation in his own confessional. He says, I think Christine's in a good place because she's moved out, she's moved on. However, that isn't the case for Cody and Robin Brown. Admittedly, Cody says, Robin and I are really kind of in a struggling place. After flashing back to the last remaining wife playing poker with Cody, Robin gives her thoughts on their relationship. Robin says, we're probably doing the worst we've ever done in our marriage. It's been tough. It's been tough between us. Furthermore, she asserts, he doesn't know who to blame. Himself or one of the other wives. Empathetically, Robin says, Cody's feeling a lot of rejection. And so I think he's kinda looking at me going, are you going to reject me too? And so I'm on my toes. I'm having to consistently make sure that he is not sabotaging our relationship. Fans give their thoughts. After the initial post, several Sister Wives fans gave their thoughts on Christine Brown Woolley's decision to be standoffish to Cody and Robin Brown. I'm glad to see Christine not pretend to play fake friends. Also hope none of the kids are trying to convince her to these days. He owes those three women the biggest MF apologies before he should get even the fake niceties from them. By the sounds of things the only person who was possibly trying to broker peace was Michael T, and that ship has sailed. I was actually really disappointed in her for that. There is no harm in being friendly for the sake of making the children feel comfortable. As the child of divorced parents who didn't speak the entirety of my adulthood, I can honestly say that she's making their lives more difficult. Other Sister Wives viewers recognize the blame shift. While some Sister Wives viewers discussed the interaction between Christine, Cody, and Robin Brown, others were ready to confront the blame game. He doesn't know who to blame, Robin I think we all know what you really mean there is, he will never admit that he is to blame so I'm gonna play dumb as usual and claim he just doesn't know. Obviously she doesn't blame herself, 
he doesn't know who to blame, himself or one of the other wives. Lady, you are so transparent. Just by not including yourself in that list, do you somehow think that the viewers are excluding you as well? You de asterisk n well know that the OG3 plus OG13 blame you, at least partially. Why is he blaming anyone at this point? This is now fall 2022. It's going to be another season of blame with the most tragic ending. I'm fascinated by what she actually thinks about her role in all this. I don't buy a word she says, but I really can't tell if she's totally clueless completely in denial or the most manipulative person alive who has been plotting all this all along. Moving on. On another thread, someone adds, like you sabotaged his relationship with the other wives, and their children? Seems heathy. She has moved on. I think emotionally she broke from him years ago, Cody is exhausting. I can't imagine maintaining a relationship with someone like him. He is the center of the universe. Everyone must center his feelings. Today's next update, Cody Brown charging $150 on Cameo as star and wife Robin can no longer afford $1.6 million mansion. The couple listed their Arizona home for sale for $1.6 million. Sister Wives star Cody Brown has charged $150 for videos on Cameo amid reports that he and wife Robin can't afford their home. The couple listed their Arizona mansion for $1.6 million amid challenges paying the bills. Cody, 55, has been promoting his Cameo site, which offers fans the opportunity to pay for custom videos from celebrities they love. On his page, the starting price for a custom video from the Sister Wives star is $149. The page suggests purchasing a video to send a birthday or holiday message, share words of encouragement, or offer advice on relationships and parenting. It also reveals that Cody is willing to show off his signature dance moves, and more in videos. Cody has been using and promoting the platform after putting his Arizona property on the market. Moving House Cody and Robin have been living in a pricey mansion in Flagstaff, Arizona. The couple listed the property as a source told the US Sun exclusively that the TLC stars could no longer afford it because the property has gotten too expensive. On August 29, the couple unexpectedly listed the 4,476-square-foot home for $1,650,000. Cody and Robin listed their home because it's become a huge expense that they no longer can afford, especially now with the family torn apart, the insider revealed. The secluded home sits on a two-acre lot, but as Sister Wives fans know, Cody and Robin, 45, also own the nearby Coyote Pass which has over five acres, and reportedly remains untouched. The source went on to say, they haven't done any work on Coyote Pass because of how much it will cost to build and, of course, stopped their plans altogether once the wives left. Coyote Pass, which includes four parcels of land that was purchased in 2018 for $820,000, was meant to be split into five parcels so that the reality star and his now three ex-wives Mary, 53, Janelle, 55, Christine, 52, and his last standing wife Robin, could build homes of their own on their properties. Christine has moved on with her new husband, David Woolley, and sold her Coyote Pass property to Cody and Robin for $10 in July 2022. The US Sun has confirmed that Janelle and Mary still own their parcels of land. As seen in the trailer for the upcoming season, the massive plot of land has become a financial burden for Janelle. She revealed in the preview, I've actually thought about asking if, Cozy, wants to buy me out. We've gotta pay it off, and he's not talking to me about it, so I think I'm gonna have to lawyer up. Tax Troubles The five-bedroom, four-bathroom home, bought back in September 2019 for $890,000, has undergone major renovations. The US Sun previously reported that in December 2023, Cody applied for permits to do projects that many thought would take six months or so to complete. The permits were in effect until June 2024. Land records showed that the TV stars planned to upgrade panels, mechanical equipment, and their water heater. They also planned to add yard lines, re-roof the house, and demolish some portions of the home which were previously unspecified. In addition to the maintenance on the massive home, the property taxes for the $1.6 million house and the parcels of Coyote Pass cost thousands of dollars. 
Tax records obtained by the U.S. Sun show that Cody and his ex-wives owe a total of $16,314.42 by the end of the year for 2024 taxes. Today's next update, fans hilariously roast Cody Brown satire. Sister Wives fans discovered a satirical cover about Cody Brown photoshopped onto the People magazine cover for August 7, 2023. Notably, the original was about Dennis Quaid, and TLC fans had a lot of hilarious fun roasting it. Read on to find out more. Cody Brown and Robin are unpopular. Sister Wives fans love to joke about the things that are said on the TLC show. One of them is, what does the nanny do? Actually, fans have been discussing that on social media since 2021. And, you can buy the t-shirt on Amazon. Then, there was the scene where the patriarch raged about a, a knife in the kidney. Robin and Cody Brown are not at all popular with Sister Wives fans, so memes and snarking remarks pop up all the time on social media. As season 19 fast approaches, people mock the idea that Robin Brown is unhappy in her marriage after Janelle, Christine, and Mary Brown all ditched Cody. So, an opportunity to roast him was too good to resist. Cody Brown and Robin are often roasted. Last season, TLC fans mocked Robin Brown who broke down and cried about wanting to sit on the porch and watch the grandkids playing. Of course, that went into the quotable quotes of satire as well. And, the artwork recently shaded by Gwendolyn Brown is another topic that seems very mockable by Sister Wives fans. Robin and Cody Brown continuously open themselves up to mockery by viewers, and that goes with being on television. Angela Deem, for example, still gets bashed for asking her daughter Skyla to donate eggs, and she would tote the baby. Hilarious roasting by Sister Wives fans. When the photoshopped People magazine cover appeared on Reddit, it suggested, like Dennis Quaid, that Cody Brown dropped a gospel album called, Faith, Love and Second Chances. In the caption, you slash Pugsrus wrote. Immediately, Sister Wives fans started to mock Cody Brown and made up a list of songs that he could put on an album, based on various things said in the TLC show. Here are some of the more hilarious suggestions. Includes hits as Knife in the Kidneys, I'm a Jack Wagon, Life Isn't All Beer and Skittles, and That Old Toe Tapper, My Three Paying Wives Have Left Me, Bonus Song Me and Mrs. Brown. And a duet with Robin, Jesus is my rental agent. I just wanna sit on my perch, with my sister wives, but they all just left me, cause all I did was lee. Cody is my backdoor man, bedroom confessions of a prophetess. Don't forget, getting my pencil wet. Ooh. And, no one accepts culpability anymore, polygamy to monogamy, how happy it's made me, and, blame yourself if I don't love you Mary. Bonus Robin tracks, cap in hand, stretch marks and weight gain ain't no way to keep a man, and, I'm the real dill. Don't forget Speedo in a mud hole. What are your thoughts about the Photoshop satirical cover of People magazine that made it look like Cody Brown had dropped a gospel album? Did you enjoy the roasting? Shout out in the comments below, and come back here for all your sister wives news, updates, and spoilers. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.